Hello and welcome. Today we shall be taking a look at infection and contamination control company Tristel PLC. The company has a market capital of £130 million and is currently ranked 152nd in the UK FTSE alternative investment market. In the financial year to June 2018, Tristel had a revenue of £22.2 million and a profit before tax of £4 million, which gave it a margin of 18%. It currently pays an annual dividend yield of 1.72%, which is paid semi-annually in April and December. This dividend is currently covered 1.6 times by the earnings per share. The company was founded in October 1993 and is based in Snailwell in Cambridgeshire. The current CEO, Paul Swinney, co-founded the business and has been chief executive and a shareholder since inception. Tristan employs over 120 people to manufacture and sell products and systems addressing infection and contamination control in human and animal health care, pharmaceutical and personal care manufacturing plants and industrial water systems. The company has subsidiaries in Germany, Poland, Switzerland, Russia, Hong Kong, China, Australia, New Zealand, Japan and USA, an associate company in Italy and sells its products via distributors in more than 30 other countries. The UK represents 46.7% of revenue. Tristral Regulatory Programme succeeded in attaining 43 approvals for 16 products in 20 countries during the previous year. Hospital infection prevention via the Tristral brand represents 90.9% .9 of revenue. Veterinary practice infection prevention via the Anistral brand was 3.4% of revenue. Control of contamination in critical environments via the Crystal brand was 5.7% of revenue. For the previous five years, Crystal has had a consistent revenue of between 13 and 22 million pounds and an operating profit margin ranging from 13.5% to 19.6%, which gave it an average of 16.6%. The forecast for next year is an increase of 15.7% in revenue to 25.7 million pounds and a margin of 19%. With generated earnings for the previous five years of between 3.2 pence and 9.1 pence per share, the dividend has always been covered by at least 1.5 times the earnings per share. The forecast for next year is an increase of 11% in earnings per share to 10.2 pence. The share price standard deviation for the previous 12 months was 28, compared to 84 for the FTSE AIM index. The current share price is 60.4% above the 52-week intraday low. At the end of April 2018, Tristel received its first approval from the United States Environmental Protection Agency and registered its foam-based chlorine dioxide product, Duo. This registration enabled Tristel to market Duo in the largest healthcare market in the world. The results announced in October stated that whilst sales growth was at the lower end of the target range, adjusted pre-tax profit and net margin exceeded both market expectations. In November, Tristel announced the acquisition of distributor Ecomed Group in Belgium, the Netherlands, Luxembourg and France. £3.4 million was payable in cash with £1.6 million from the issue of new ordinary shares. It was also announced that Paul Barnes would be interim non-executive chairman a replacement will be found before the next AGM for chairman and co-founder Francisco Sola, who will retire after 25 years. The interim half-year results announced the 25th of February 2019 stated that sales growth had been in the middle of the target range, which benefited from Midnova acquisition of Ecomed Group. A solid contribution was expected in the second half from its direct presence in Belgium, the Netherlands and France. During the half-year, revenue had increased 12%, Overseas sales were up 19%, interim dividend was 28% and held cash of £4.5 million after the £2.96 million was paid in November for the Ecomad Group. Tristel is pursuing approval in the US for its surface disinfectant product for use in invasive medical devices. With two products already approved and the other products starting to gain approval worldwide distribution in place, and with nearly 100 patents in 36 countries providing legal protection, Tristel appears to be well placed for future growth. The revenues from overseas now account for over 53%, and over 90% of the revenues are from repeat consumable products. The profit margin has improved each year from the 13.5% reported four years ago, and the return on capital expenditure is 34.3%. 
Despite financing expansion in Europe and funding US FDA approval for his products, Tristel still has a positive cash balance of £4.5 million. The share price is below the 52-week intraday high, but the potential growth is still reflected in the price-earnings ratio of 35, compared to the FTSE AIM average of 31.6. Tristel pays a dividend yield of 1.72% compared to the FTSE AIM average of 1.44%, and this is covered 1.6 times by earnings. For these reasons, I've given Tristel an overall rating of 4 out of 5. Thank you for watching. Please leave comments below. And also, like and subscribe for further analysis of UK company businesses.